Hey guys, welcome back to the old YouTube channel. Um, today I just wanted to make a quick video about how to be healthy and to still be achieving your goals even when you work like a 9 to 5 job because I know a lot of people start working full time and then suddenly think I don't have the energy or I don't have the time to be healthy or to work out but I just wanted to give you a few tips and tricks on how to still be healthy even though it seems like impossible because trust me like when I started working full time it was so hard I didn't have the energy or motivation but I've been working full time for well minus the furlough maybe like nine months now so along the way I've picked up some tips and tricks on how to still be healthy so I just wanted to share them with you and hopefully it helps some people so yeah I'll just be talking about food meal prep picking up the motivation to actually work out how to stay active even if you have an office job and you're sitting on your bum all day just wee things like that that I've picked up and I feel help me feel healthy and still motivated before during and after my work so yeah hope you enjoy the video everyone in my house is sleeping apart from me but um, I bought this from Amazon and it's a pill like holder so I put all my, my vitamins in it and it just makes it easier to stay on track of actually taking them if they're like sitting out in front of you every morning so this was only like five pounds as well so I would definitely recommend taking this and buying this if you struggle to stay on top of your vitamins and just forget to take them thing that's really helped me so yeah five pounds and it's colourful as well so the two bigger ones I just took were vitamin C so I can just chew those this one's cod liver oil the two darker ones are iron I have really low iron so obviously it affects like your energy levels and stuff so that's why I take them and then that little white one is vitamin D, so yeah, they're what I take every day and I feel good for it and it helps you absorb the vitamins and minerals from your food as well, if you're trying to eat well and get the most out of your food, so yeah. Okay, hi, sorry for the bad angle, but we're working with it. Okay, so, just about to go to work, so I thought I would show you what's in my lunchbox. Basically the whole point of this video is how to be healthy when you're working a 9 to 5 job. For me the biggest thing and like I think a lot of people will say the same thing is to meal prep. So prepare your meals, plan out what you're having to eat that day, bring it with you, make it the night before, make it in the morning, whatever is easiest for you but meal prep. It's the only, like for me I think it's the only way that I can stay healthy. Because I know if I don't meal prep, I'll end up going like and just buying. Because I work in the city centre, you can get like Subway, Greggs, like KFC, anything you want. And for me, once I start doing that, there's no going back. So, so that's why I'll show you what I've brought. And this is like a normal lunch for me. So, first things first, buy a lunchbox. I actually bought this in Australia as a makeup bag. <laughs> I had too much makeup, so I just went, because obviously makeup bags are actually quite expensive, so when you're traveling, you don't have much money. I just bought a lunchbox, it was like $8, and uh, I like it, pretty cool. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, I've not had a lunchbox since I was like in primary seven. Just do it, honestly, do it. So, we got tuna pasta. My sister's gonna see this video and say, that's my Tupperware. Because it is, but I couldn't find mine, so... Thanks, sis. Um, so, tuna pasta. Pasta, tuna. Bit of mayo, light mayo. Sweet corn, spinach, done. Easy. Don't have to, like, do anything crazy. Just easy, right? Then, one of these bad boys. Miller Lite yogurts. 
my go-to cereal bar, some crackers, then some protein, and that's it. So that's all my food for the day. That's what I'll eat. Like when I get home, I'm starving, and then I'll have my dinner. But I'll show you that later. Um, but when I'm in work, that actually keeps me going. And if you know me, I love my food. So that's not me trying to be like, like show off, like show off to the camera. But you know what I mean. That's that's literally what like a normal lunchbox for me. I feel healthy. I know someone might look at that and say, "We need to be eating salad and all that," but. No way, Jose, that's not going to keep you full. Also, an essential is, for me, is diluting juice because you need to be drinking water. You're supposed to drink, I think, four litres a day. I am a bit over the top. I think I drink, honestly, about seven or eight litres, but it's only because I drink it with diluting juice. I don't really like water on its own unless I'm at the gym. Definitely, if you struggle to drink water, get diluting juice it'll change the game for you so yeah also one of these to put your diluting juice in because if you get like a wee cup of water or something at work like you're gonna have to keep going back and refilling it and time is money you know so just get a big thing of water and uh, a big thing for your water or your juice and that'll keep you going Okay, so I've been like driving into work lately and obviously it's free parking everywhere so you can park like I could park right outside my work if I wanted to but I actually park like five minutes away just so I can get like a bit of a walk before I go into the office and then as well like on my way home I just get some more fresh air um, and also it means I can get my steps up so I would recommend like if you do drive into work, work just park a little bit further away just to get some fresh air and like to help feel like you're moving a lot more as well so that's another tip also I work on the fifth floor and I always take the stairs and I'm already out of breath but it's just all the little things that you do every day that makes like such a difference to how you feel and stuff, so that's another tip. Okay, so my top tips for people that have an office job. My main tip is to walk around. Although your job is obviously sitting at a desk, every hour or so just go to the bathroom, go make yourself a cup of tea, go and talk to someone in like a different room. Just, I feel like if you give yourself that break like every hour, you do feel more motivated in your work and also it gets your steps up so you're feeling a bit active throughout the day. I do feel better for it on the days that I move about a bit more so that's definitely a tip. Um, when I get home from work like I'm so hungry I cannot be bored cooking I don't cook like anything I eat is like minimal effort so obviously when you're that hungry and tired you just want to throw like food in the oven or in the microwave that's maybe not that healthy you want to stop off at McDonald's and get something on the way home don't do that, okay? Buy like microwave meals or like oven meals that are actually healthy. See so if you can't board cooking, you can still get really healthy low calorie options. 
even like eggs, like you just boil them in water, do you know what I mean? Like there's so many quick, easy options for those days that you do feel so tired after working, you can't be bored cooking. So I would definitely look into all those options and like they're not expensive as well. So like you're going to be way cheaper making your own food as well than getting McDonald's and all that. And it will be tempting, it is tempting on the way home when you pass the golden arches and stuff. But don't do it. Don't do it. What else? Oh yeah, working out. Working out. Set yourself a time every day that you're going to work out. Okay, working out. I will be the first person to tell you how hard it is to work out after a full day's work. Like, I hate working out at night. I hate it so much. But... I set myself like from 8 o'clock at night till 9 o'clock at night I'm going to be working out and there's no reason that I shouldn't be working out and it is like it's hard to get the motivation when you've had like a rubbish day or like you're tired or if you're on your period or like just feeling like crap but you always 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 thank yourself for after so keep that in mind when you're doing it I always think and I've said this before you never regret working out you know you always regret not working out sometimes. I don't know, some people might never want to work out and don't ever regret not working out, but for me, I know that I feel better once I've worked out. Even when I can't be bothered, you've just got to be like, what's the word, strict with yourself. Um, so just be disciplined and you will thank yourself for it later. See when you have got the results or you look back on your progress. It's all the times that you couldn't be bothered and all the times that you'd rather not do it. Every time you did one of those helped you get to your goals, so there you go, bit of, bit of insight, pardon me. Um, it's hard, like it's so so hard having a full time job and still have, finding the energy to work out and eat healthy and stuff, but the biggest thing is routine, I'm telling you, routine, because see on the days that you can't be bothered, you just switch off but you go onto autopilot, 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 and that's when you eat healthy and work out without even thinking about it because it's all you do now, it's all you know. It's hard to get into that routine, but when you're in it, you're winning. So those are my top tips. Hey, sorry, this is so like all over the place, but my phone died when I was in the car recording that last wee bit. But that was really all I had to say on the subject. Kind of covered everything I wanted to cover and just, yeah, hopefully I reassured some people that working a nine to five you can still be healthy and feel good and feel positive and make a positive change or just continue with your fitness journey just because you work a nine to five or sit at an office desk job all day that your progress needs to stop that's not the case at all you just need to work that a little bit harder be a little bit more prepared be on the ball and the progress will keep coming so yeah that's everything I had to say. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something. If you have any ideas of things that you'd like me to film, please let me know. I'm always looking for ideas. I feel like I've run out of ideas because it's locked down. There's only so much I feel I can do. But if you have any ideas, you let me know. Okay. Thanks for watching.